Hey, what's up, dudes? Do I look positively ghoulish? You. Oh my god! I didn't make it. I thought the man in the yellow suit. Maybe I could could get in. Only registered for all participants get inside. I I didn't think. Maybe just some of us. But I didn't die. I was touched, changed by Adam. He provided this gift to so many. He gave life, and some of them just went mad from the truth. And he brought death. Perhaps they sit with him now. And then there are still others, untouched by Adam's glory, trying to make some form of living here. I don't know Adam, and I wish to learn more. I'm going to collect as much of his power as I can find. And then I want to journey to the place where he touched this world and changed me. What's up dudes, KublaiKhan here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode with a new friend, the child of Adam Ghoul. Yes. So, well, our character is Fizzy, shortened for Fitzgerald, and also somewhat related to, guess what, Fission. Because, hey, it's about the child of Adam. Currently have our character naked because I wanted to demonstrate our ghoulish appearance. Check him out, the wrinkly skin. The cleared alteration, for whatever reason, his neck is freaking, looks like he's been terribly wounded. But hey, it kind of, you know, fits with the character of somebody who, uh, is existing in this world. Now, I changed the story ending a little bit to how this would work. Also, some of the build changes, because this is going to be on survival. Major changes are A, it doesn't matter what armor I wear, but a Child of Adam robe should be acquired because... I gotta make a pilgrimage to Ground Zero, the Crater of Adam. I need to make a pilgrimage there, and no one should be there in just normal clothes. I should be dressed to the nines for when I get to meet my god. Second, I need to collect 25 fusion cores, or 50 nuclear material. I'm going to do that they need to all be in one place, so it's like I can't just like have found 25. I need to have shuttled them back to somewhere. Maybe we'll change that up. I don't really know yet, but I like that little bit. Another thing that's connected to the character is that they dislike feral ghouls because they've been hit by the glory of Atom and have gone mad. They could not handle the story, the glory of what it is, versus ghouls that have been hit by the glory of Adam and are still alive and still sane, those are totally cool dudes, no problem. Also, our character has no problem with human beings because they just haven't been hit by the glory of Adam yet, and so it's not necessarily their fault for not knowing. But, feral ghouls are clearly people who heard the glory of Adam and instead went mad by it, rather than accepting him as their savior. And final bits of the introduction of the character, we are going to get a couple of these ghouly perks. Ghoulish, probably a rad resistant, probably an aqua boy, probably, you know, lead belly. Very much of these perks focused on dealing with radiation. Uh, but I'm also going to make sure that we play a character who can live, more or less. Uh, so this character is supposed to do some melee as well. So I have some melee here. I've got pistols here because gamma guns do using pistol kind of stuff. And uh, we'll see how that works, more or less. I'm kind of curious because the Gamma Gun is not a, a weapon I've really used much, but I am expecting that we'll be using pistols and melee weapons to survive in this harsh environment there. There we go, casual outfit. Nice, wow, this casual outfit is very effeminate. I haven't quite decided if we have to just kill ghouls outright, uh, feral ghouls specifically, but I feel like that would be a fun addition. Oh God. <laughs> fun addition is our character is just after ghouls. I'm not exactly sure how to deal with that because ghouls are one of the most difficult creatures that exist in survival mode. When you are running around in survival mode, they uh, well, they come out of nowhere, they surprise you, and they just attack. Our character is also using gamma weaponry against ghouls. It's not gonna work. 
So I want the character to still use, you know, pistols and stuff that aren't just gamma weapons is one of the other big changes that have occurred with the character. Picked up a level up from actually upgrading a gun, and I think it would be smartest to go with a gun that uh, level up that, you know, immediately helps us. But the thing is, is that we're not a ghoul yet, so to stick with the character in the roleplay, there we go, radiation increases our lost health. I've never watched that little animation, that's pretty cool to see, I like that. Also for those paying attention, we have uh, one fusion cell, or excuse me, fusion core right here. So we're starting with one because that's just the character how they started, we can get 26 if it becomes a, that kind of thing where we're like, oh it's happening too quick or something like that. Nice, now we're getting purified water too, which is extra useful. Perfect, we got ourselves purified water, we aren't thirsty any longer, that's a good improvement. Oh god. Came in here to kill some blowflies with uh, a stick. It's hard to see them in the dark, there we go. Ah, there's more! Whew. That was a lot harder than it needed to be. We picked up some army fatigues just walking around this house. This is awesome because these will give you an extra one strength and agility. So that's super beneficial for uh, wearing underneath your armor because agility is fantastic. And then uh, strength, we're whacking stuff with sticks too. So that's going to be very vital. So surprisingly useful is the yellow trench coat. Um... Gives you damage resistance 5. I just realized that this is the yellow trench coat that the vault tech guy was wearing. Does, is there like a battered fedora in here that's yellow too? Oh, I can't find one, but anyway, I look pretty close to that guy right now in the suit and everything. I mean, what's also kind of cool with it is that it gives you charisma and endurance increase, which is, for our character, pretty beneficial too. I mean, uh, the, I'm, I'm not going to use charisma in the fight necessarily, and the strength and agility I think will be more useful in the long run, but this is still pretty baller to have. One extra point to perception from uh, the, your special book, and our character is ready to take on the world. One thing to note is I'm about to take a nap to up my health a bit. Um, it doesn't go up very much from sleeping. You have to sleep like a full 10 hours to get a really good health boost. Just uh, something important to keep in mind when you're playing that, unfortunately, you can't just do an hour's sleep and heal everything. Interesting thing about the pump. Check out my health. It's just popping up as I continue to pump and drink lots of water. My character is going to need a lot of electrolyte improvements, which is exactly what plants need. Okay, that's taking forever. You know what? Half health is fine. And of course, how could I forget the sea captain's hat? Hell yeah, we look good in our yellow trench coat and sea captain's hat. All right, I'm really curious to see how much health I'll get back from the radiation, so let's just run through the water and see what happens here. Um, no radiation at the moment. So I got health back from drinking water, um, and I got radiation from drinking water, but actually does the game read me as a ghoul right now so I don't receive any radiation? That is not something that I expected, to be entirely honest. I kind of thought that... I would, like, the game was just going to do a general, like, face swap. You know, just being like, hey, now you are a ghoul. So, it might actually be a little bit better than that. The, the game might actually, that would be really interesting to see. So, let's watch my radiation bar and uh, figure out what happens in regards to that. All right. Bugs, 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 bugs. All right, I'm definitely getting, it says I'm getting radiation from that. Is it going up? I can't tell. I think the radiation thing went up a, a great. A plunger from the goddamn thing again. Great. I think it went up a bit, but I'm not sure. Also, I learned this recently. When you enter through here, close the door again. Baseball bat. It's going to be one of the most powerful melee weapons that you have right at the beginning of this game. So that's pretty wicked. I mean, check. Yes. We're going to play some baseball on your head. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Ooh, and there's a quantum in here. And sugar bombs. Some bottle caps? Man, I need to explore this house a little bit more. Alright, taking a nap. Getting a save for before we actually jump into the fights. Herbal stimulant. Looks and goods. Uh, looks and goods? Looks and goods. Yeah, why not? Ooh, wait. Bottles. Bottles for water. Bottles for water. Uh, let's try a sugar bomb real quick. Here, let's see. Can I see a radiation meter anywhere? 
Fortunately, there isn't just a radiation meter that can point out like, hey, you're at 17 radiation. A little bit of a, ooh, it's the bug back. Get back here, you. Zero chance to hit, I don't care, bug. Yes. Oh, playing baseball is fun, I love it. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to do the sugar bomb. Our pork and beans will do just fine. Giving us six radiation, which should also heal us whilst we're uh, being irradiated. I want to keep giving myself a radiation though, just to make like check to see what's up. I think the radiation is increasing. So as we're playing this, I do see that and I do feel that's happening. Oh, good. We can now pick up a peel, a peel cue, uh, road leathers. I don't know if I'll necessarily need that. Ah, uh, yes. The Concord battle. Very different battle once uh, you're in survival mode again. Just that whole level of stuff is scary. People are mean to you. I feel like I want a baseball bat. I know that I talked about how this character is going to, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, baseball bat battle. Okay. Oh yeah, I blocked you. Oh, you blocked me. Oh, maybe. Can't, did, oh my gosh, did I knock her out? Oh, how did you block that if you can't see? God, I love it when we knock their heads off their bodies like that. I think that's hilarious. All right, walk around, walk around, go! Oh, hide behind this guy, yeah! Oh yeah, you're worried about me now? Oh, whack, whack, whack! God, we need to use more, uh, um, that's when I do that because that defense is going to be pretty helpful and I'm not really taking advantage of it. But hey, another level up. Uh, so what do we do here? Are we going to use the the bashy bash bash some more? Are we going to shoot? Because the smart thing would be to shoot. Especially because I didn't give our character enough agility to like, you know, blitz. Which is pretty useful if you're a melee character. But the thing is I, I didn't have the chance because I had to go down this way and so that was a big waste of stuff in a way uh, but it might not be as important as one would think um, let's actually not worry about it at the moment now everybody sir Reginald wax a lot the fizzy man interesting factoid too there's actually a bed uh, another bed in this house down this way so you can save and then save again if you're a little worried about it also a raider up here with a sniper rifle that's pretty cool well, we're not going to be using rifles. We're going to be sticking with pistols or, uh, you know, uh, other various things. Sleeping bags, we learned, uh, could only give you three hours of sleep. So you can't actually get fully rested. They're really only good for that initial, uh, you know, save. Just a save. Not really anything else. You know, since I just saved, I feel like I'm willing to experiment with more melee. I mean, I don't know what we're going to do about blitz and stuff like that, but I'm willing to experiment more with it because, well, it could be really fun, you know, like a survival melee build. Uh, normally, there's a guy down there, and I don't know where they are, but especially because our melee build is going to be about running from cover to cover. There you are. Rather than sneaking. Kind of an interesting change up. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Woo, heads hurt. Stim packing. Okay, parts from lack of water. All right, let's actually see uh, if I was to grab, uh, you know what, purified water would help with that. I was thinking I could try having some rad roach meat and getting some more radiation helping me out. Boom. Ooh, instant kill, I like that. Stim pack, taking it back. Do you have, no, you don't have any chest leathers. What about you? Boom. Boom. Oh, please don't. Nobody shoot me. Nobody shoot me. Well, nobody shot me. That's good. It's good. Um, I guess I can shoot this guy now. There's nothing stopping me. Ha! Yeah, that felt pretty good, too. I don't know which one I want to stick with. Technically, the build was melee focused with Gamma Gun, but Gamma Gun's not going to work with Feral Ghouls. Hello! Uh, you're the one to hit. Boom! 
You know, the first hit didn't do a lot of damage, but the second one did. Oh god, he hit through it. Boom! Oh, it's super visceral to fight like this, which is really fun. Very, very fun. Very low health. <gasps> Leather chest piece. That's gonna be great. I needed that. And another stim pack. Feels good. So I just had two pieces of uncooked rad roach meat, which is supposedly gonna make me sick. Uh, I'm curious if I have to be under the effect of the radiation longer for uh, me to actually heal from the radiation. All right, you died. Oh, God! Hi! Hi! Boom! Boom! And the next guy's a knife, and he's coming for me with it. Come on, brah. Let's do this. Ow! Whoa, that was faster than I expected. Big hit! Big hit! Boom! Yes. Ow! Oh, oh he... Bl How do you block a baseball bat with that little knife? Jeez. That was pretty fun. Ate a couple flowers because I was overweight, and uh, hey, we're back to here. So, one of the reasons why I thought it would be good to do this was besides the perception bobblehead, which will help us, was the fact that there is a power or a fusion cell downstairs. Alright, there is fusion core either number one or number two. I haven't quite decided on that. I'm fine with either way because I bet we're going to be just having a good time with our character, and so it'll just be who cares, you know? Whatever ends up happening will be how it happens. All right, so now we're upstairs, we're running with our baseball bat, and we're gonna go outside to do the fight. I personally would take non-pristine fusion cores. I think that's okay. I mean, I don't wanna, t like, a, kind of a shitty one, but you could almost think of it as in like, because a fusion core is 100, so if I need to collect 25, it's actually, I'm really collecting 2,500 of something. So it could almost be like, hey, a half fusion core is worth half, you know, a, a normal fusion core kind of thing. So that could work too. Um, anyway, there's a thing that I'm debating on right now, which is, should we do this fight? Or should we go take a nap at the bed where we'll be safe for a second? Um, I think that could be, man, that guy is being a jerk. Come out. Oh, look at this. I could just get on the roof and scoot over a little bit more. That works pretty well. This is... I've never actually walked onto the other side of the building before. I think that's, uh... Oh! I, I kind of wish I jumped on pressing Garvin's... Garvin's? Garvin sector. There we go. You know, the general... I think we'll just go straight for it. Uh, hopefully I don't end up eating my words or anything. Um... You know, one thing actually I do want to try a little bit more is let's try baseball batting some of these guys right now. Uh, we have a good run up to an opponent. Holy crap. That, okay. I don't want to try baseball batting that though. Uh, if I could avoid it. God, you guys should like think about what's the biggest danger in your life right now. And it's definitely not the man in the power armor. I think it would probably be the giant clawed creature behind you. But you know, that's just me. I can see how that would be confusing to think about. Ugh. I don't really want to try fighting the Deathclaw in the suit, if I could avoid that. Um, are they throwing fire at me or fire at it? At it, okay. Oh, let's, uh, let's have some fun. Back to the minigun. Fire its feet. I mean, if you're able to net the hit the feet enough, you're able to get it so that it can't uh, attack very well. Uh, as in, like, it can't run after you. Um, it cannot hit me up here, so it's just important to keep that in mind. To, I gotta back off. Yeah, da, da, da. Whoop. Back off again. Whoop, that guy exploded. Alright, one down Deathclaw. And uh, one more dude to be bashed with a baseball bat. Whoop. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get that fusion core out of here because now that's just mine to use. I'll leave the minigun here, take some meat, and uh, go pick the corpses for a bit. So as far as the game goes, I'm actually going to take a nap uh, to do a quick save. I can do this after I have that conversation with the settlers, but I don't really care too much about that portion yet. Especially because as we're playing i want to i mean going back to a sanctuary is going to be important 
Um, and I haven't quite figured out how we're going to do that yet, but it's not necessarily about the people at Sanctuary that I care for. I mean, what matters to me is the fact that we collect the fusion cores. That's all that really matters to the character. It's really fun watching the ghoul character talk. I think it's it's a really cool kind of... I'm surprised that, that, you know, there isn't more of that in the game. So before walking back to Sanctuary to deposit the core, I think I'm actually going to head off 100% just away. Because the core, although heavy, isn't actually the... Like, it's not that massive. Um, I mean, it is something. It's four pounds. Which out of, you know, I have like 150 that I could carry. So, actually, how much can I carry? 125. So four pounds. You know, it's... It matters. That's, that's a lot. That can be food or whatever. But depending on how our radiation works, which I'm not entirely sure, we might not really need to worry about that too much. I mean, I mean I'm also going to hit this salesperson right now, Trash Can Carla, so that's going to allow us to get rid of some excess weight. I do believe this is the most ridiculous I have ever had a character look. The glasses, the hat, and the dress, they do not match yeah. in the slightest. Okay, I need to make some serious decisions now. I mean, I have two upgrades. And I can't just be like, uh, punching things aren't it? So the thing is, is, this is where I come from. Punching things is pretty damn fun, okay? But we really didn't prepare a character for it. Shooting things is going to be the smartest thing we can do. Especially as we're moving into gamma stuff. So really, this is a tough decision overall to make. I, I feel like I'm, we're killing stuff relatively fast enough. That we're ha perhaps we can get away with something like Action Boy. Or we can use these two points to actually get moving target. You know, that's something that we've been doing. And then we might be able to get away with not even needing Blitz. Well, Action Boy won't actually ever hurt. So let's take that. Lone Wanderer also is a good choice. Let's take that. Okay, now we've got our character fully covered in armor. We're looking we good. We're feeling you. good. We got our baseball bat of doom. You. We're going to walk in here. They're going to go like, hey, maybe we should talk about stuff. Hey, dude, what's up? Um, we're gonna do the quick talk. Looks Say, hey, like we can help. Talk to, her. talk to Trudy. I should have asked for more money. I think that would have been the right thing to do. Let's go ahead and uh, dress up in our sexiest look, shall we? Hello. Wow, the arm pads look hilarious with this, too. I look like I'm trying, like, hi, I am not a dangerous person. I'm just an old lady. Excuse me. Nice. Sure. Always a good little thing to do that extra bit of uh, experience bonus from that. I've always really liked it. All right, completed order up. Uh, we could we actually just sold, so we don't need to do with anything with Trudy quite yet. Um, I'm imagining that uh, ooh, TV dinner tray, something I do not even need. I'm imagining that our next direction could very well be the the theater, the Drumlin Theater. God, what a tough thing to remember. If you guys are noticing that this is very similar to how our intro character went, well, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty used to that now. Um, but I've actually just set off all the mole rats. So let's uh, get some meat, shall we? Come on, mole rat batting. You guys remember this spot where it's uh, there's actually a mine on the stairs? Just as a warning. Go ahead and get up and grab that because mines are nice. Ooh, a stout. Back to the batting. Come on, you rats. I'm ready to play a little game. Ooh, that's a rabid mole rat. A lot stronger. Ooh, missed it. Missed it again. Oh, God! Nope, the batting... It crashed. Okay, so since it crashed, uh, we're basically at the end anyway. I have... This is an important thing that I've talked about, or has been discussed with the beta and the like. It's the fact that when you crash... That's it. That's it. You're, you're done. You know, all this stuff that you've done, it didn't have to do with you dying, which is the important part. It was the game taking it from you. So that sucks that we just had a crash, but that was also our first crash related to this. And uh, it is a bummer, but, you know, it's important to keep in mind and we'll think about it. Anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a joy to have you here. Now may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face, dude. See you later. Bye. Thank you.